What's going on guys? Sitting here on my way to fish a Tuesday night tournament. One of my favorite tournaments to fish. Used to do uh, a Tuesday nighter series, fished pretty much every Tuesday. Since being uh, on tour though, and fishing Invitationals, Toyotas, Pro Circuit, all that, really haven't gotten a chance to fish all too many of them. So actually in town this week, so me and my buddy Scott are gonna fish this Tuesday nighter. But I'm sitting here racking my brain, trying to figure out what I want to do tonight. I haven't been out on this lake in uh, quite a while, so really don't know what these fish are doing. It's uh, first week of April, so I have a feeling most of these fish have probably already spawned, which means they're starting to move out. I just don't know if they're gonna be like really offshore yet or not, if they're gonna be out on that brush and shell, um, or if they're still kind of hanging around those spawning areas. I have a feeling some of those fish are probably still kind of hanging out in canals. You always got the resident canal fish, um, but there might be a slightly more so there might be slightly more fish in those canals just post spawners just kind of chilling right after they spawned but then you could also maybe catch them on on some shallower shell is kind of what i'm thinking some of those fish that have spawned and are just moved out transitioning um, so trying to figure out what to do these tournaments are only three hours so you really got to just make up a decision and roll with it and see what happens uh, originally i told scott scott's meeting me at the boat ramp i told him we're just gonna fish shallow just gonna fish canals and then i'm heading over here just thinking about uh, different scenarios different situations and for some reason I got a funny feeling that some of these fish just might be on shell bars and the shell bar is just a really good way to get bit quick if they're on it and these tournaments I've looked at the past couple weeks they haven't been taking all that much weight like 10 to 12 pounds so if you pull up on the right spot the right shell bar and there's a group of fish on it you can catch that in 5 10 casts on the flip side you get into a bad rotation of doing that when you could have just been up shallow tossing a frog around or something like that getting a couple good bites on the frog but you really need to just grind out that frog bite you need all the time you can get so i don't know we'll make a decision here i'll uh, i'll talk to scott th see what he thinks about it we might stop on one shell bar fish it for like five minutes just to see because if they're there you'll get bit pretty quick so we might do that just to see just to keep those offshore fish honest and then uh if they're not there or if they are there, I mean, maybe we'll catch a small limit or something and then just head to the canals and try to catch try to catch a few quality fish. So we'll definitely get some frogging action in today. I'm, I rigged up a frog. We're throwing that frog today, no doubt. Um, just got to decide what we want to do to start off the tournament. So I'm going to consult with Scott. We're going to come up with a game plan. But regardless, it's going to be a fun three hours of fishing. Always enjoy fishing these Lake Tarpon Tuesday nighters. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, getting ready to take off. Got a pretty good crowd today. I think we're, we got 14 boats or so. We got Scott in the boat with us. What's up, YouTube? I think uh, I think we're just gonna grind it out shallow this uh, this afternoon slash evening. So got a frog, got a prop bait, and we got a lunker log on the deck. Just gonna grind it out, try to catch five. Five of them biting the canals. They'll probably end up being decent fish. Looks pretty froggy. Depends how topped out we get here. <laughs> yeah, I fished like two Tuesday. Oh, eat it. That's a big one. Good 
try to think. A little log up there. I think it's going to be too grassy. Maybe I'll come out and grab it. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> I bet that's how big that other one that hit me was. It's a dang kicker for out here. <laughs> Probably be two and a half or so. Two oh nine. I thought he was gonna be like four when he hit it. <laughs> Golly, yeah, by a mile. Come on, how are you gonna skyrocket on it and not come back for it? You'd think that one would come back and hit it. Do they have a minimum now? I don't really know, to be honest with you. Last year, they were doing no minimum, I think. I'll throw them in there just in case. Well, they should have his number on there. Well, here, I'll just, I'm going to just put them... Uh, just toss them in. Ooh, we're gonna catch them. What'd you say about this one? Caught some big fish in here. There's a big spawning canal. They're always up on beds in this one. My guy got, he wrote me again today. Did he get it? Yeah. He's not big, he's not big. Oh, we come off. He's like a pound, three quarters of a pound. Come on. Get oh. Should I do a Sanko follow up? I know it did look pretty big. He hit it. He almost hit it like it's a bed fish. He just hit it. He just hit me when I picked when I picked up. He went don't. Almost like just swiped it. Like Horsem. I already had the bites to win if they would just eat it. He's still there, he just moved. All we need is two four pounders. <laughs> I mean, come on.
He might have been on that bed back there. Be on a bed right there. swimming over the bed. I don't, I don't see nothing. Might have just been a bluegill taking on me. Gosh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a pickerel. I've never even, I don't think I've ever caught one of those out here. Have you? fish this whole thing without one. Wait, was this now the last canal that I caught one in? I better catch us two four pounders quickly here. 